Hey everybody, it's Brian here. I am going to show you all the examples that I could find within the help system of MATLAB 2013B. Okay, I want you to realize not A, but B, 2013B. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got um, my help here. Uh, I just type in help up here and it brings up this cool little help system. Now, for those that are new to all this, um, I just want to show you the sophistication of the help. Um, not only does the help explain the functions and all the different properties, but you also get the things like the algorithm all explained um, quite well within this help system. All right. So what I've got here in my code is virtually six demos, okay? And uh, what I'm going to do is set up a breakpoint for each one. So bear with me. Um, and I've put in some comments that are right from the uh, right from the help system. Uh, it's just to help navigate some of the different. Um, options and stuff so I am just going through the editor this script will be available for my quant leets members and uh, what I'm going to show you is very 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 high level okay so I'm not going to do any code walkthroughs I just want to show you the capabilities of all the different Garch um, examples that are available in uh, the MATLAB 2013 B. Okay, so let's say uh, the way I formatted it in the source in the script is basically if you uh, each demo is separated by a series of hyphens. So let's say you want to see the detailed examples of this one. All you have to do is just type in this, and then you get the full explanation, the source code, everything line by line uh, where that uh, came from. So you can reverse engineer it yourself. Pretty cool, eh? Okay, let's just run this stuff, enough blabbing. Um, so in my workspace, it's all empty, but you're gonna get six different demos. So this will quickly fill up the workspace and the command, uh, this uh, command line as well, command window and so on and so forth. So let's just step through all this stuff. So we're gonna estimate a Garch model using these set of parameters. Gonna do a simulation. We have a various uh, um, variances here that we uh, set. Uh, and then we do a new plot or a new figure. These take a while to generate. Um, Let's see, okay, so this is essentially the variances that we're uh, displaying. Conditional variances, as you can tell by the title, and here's the innovations of those variances. Okay, so um, now that we've uh, run that, we're now gonna simulate a model using this pre-sampled uh, random data. Um, so again, we're gonna simulate. I go into greater depth in each walkthrough video. And again, I'll be able to incorporate this into my live trading components that I have for IQ Feed, for uh, Interactive Brokers. So this can be e should easily work with the magic of the uh, MATLAB Builder Any Toolbox, which I've talked about a lot. So it uh, looks like we're um, setting up five paths here uh, for the variances. Uh, just give me conditional variances. And number of paths are a thousand. Okay, um, next one. So we look at any unconditional variances. See what we do, do a simulation, and we plot. Again, you can get the details of these uh, in each uh, walkthrough I'll be doing for my members. 
So let's see what this thing spits out. Unconditional variant uh, variances. Uh, here's your simulated versus theoretical. So it's one example. So let's work. Uh, move on to our next demo, which is number two. So um, some of these examples work with uh, older data from uh, MATLAB, out of the box, Mark Pound, uh, that trading pair, the German Mark and the British Pound. So we're going to load up our data. Uh, we convert the data to returns. And then we plot the returns, I believe it was. Yeah, there's our returns. Uh, specify a Garch fit, 1-1. One, one. Do an estimate, which takes a while. And then do another estimate. You can see all the data gets spat out here as well. Um, so these, there's a number of parameters, standard error as well as t-statistic, so on and so forth. Uh, fortunately, the help does uh, help in inferring what all this means. So you can easily uh, figure that out. Now I'm going to do a log ratio, likelihood ratio test. And then estimating the GARCH. So it's going to throw out uh, the odd, um, the odd uh, warning here, as it did. Um, here it's spat out each uh, and the, whole, the null, null hypothesis test, and the uh, I believe it's a probability from that test. Um, let's see, we do another Garch uh, setup here in this model. Do an estimated model. And here's the uh, estimated model with the P and Q um, and what it would return. And now we're going to load um, some pre sample data again of uh, returns of the NASDAQ uh, equities. Calculate our price returns. Do another plot. So I think these are just the, the returns that we're plotting here. Here's the thing. Actually, no, we're actually uh, plotting. I've shown this before. Uh, volatility clustering, which is right here. So that's really useful for people who want to um, use this potentially as a, as a, um, as a uh, uh, probably as some kind of indicator against uh, volatility. More garage calculations, another estimation. Now we're going to calculate. Um, here's our estimate results. Uh, now we're going to do some square uh, standard estimation. Uh, standard error, sorry. So we're going to add, load in more data for a third demo on the demoing the estimate function. Okay, so let me just clear up all this stuff here these plots. Alright, so let's load up the next one. Equity index again. Price to return. Estimate our, our, our uh, model of 1-1. One, one. Um, do the estimate. And here's the results. Uh, now we do a forecast. Forecast a conditional variance for 500 days using the fitted model. Uh, use the observed returns at pre-sample innovations for the forecast. Okay, so do an inference. Now we're going to generate a plot. What does that plot look like? Uh, it's not quite done yet. So there's our inferred in reds the calculation or sorry the forecast, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I'll go over what these mean. Uh, and again, you can easily, easily get that through the help description. Okay, so now we're going to demo the infer function. Um, now we're going to 
also include that with the likelihood ratio test. Again, with the Danish data. I believe that's from the Danish stock market. Um, so I'm going to do some more uh, plotting here. Nominal stock returns. So there you go. Um, now we're going to do an eGarch this time. Do the estimate. And then we're going to try to infer conditional variances. Okay. And then compute standardized resident uh, standardized residuals, which are used for further calculation. And then I believe we get autocorrelation and partial correlation as well. So we, as well as we get our histogram. And that is the last of that demo. Now we're going to demo the uh, simulation function. Uh, but basically, if the auto auto correlation goes above or beyond this threshold, um, that's a set of parameters you can use. I show this sort of stuff in my uh, custom trading course. Sorry, the MATLAB uh, trading courses I have online. Uh, my Quant Leap members have access to that. Okay. So let's move on to the next series. I think we got one more demo. Okay, so now we're going to simulate the uh, conditional variance model using the simulate function. So we're going to load up that uh, FX data, currency data, do the price returns, do an estimate to measure the fit, do an inference. So all this gets returned, you can easily get access to all that um, and then do a random generation simulating uh, we're simulating the, the rate returns do a, a plot there's our variances all the different ones and there's the returns we can always, 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 just so people know, we can always go into further uh, detail. Want to explore all this stuff? You definitely can do that. All right. Um, so that's all there is from my end on this demo. Hopefully, uh, you see some benefit with it. Oh, we have a few more plots. So I think we're going to plot the return distribution. And this is calculated over a certain period of time. Maybe over 500 days. All right, so again, like I said, hopefully you see the potential of this. This All the source code is available to my members, Quant Leap members. And most of all, you, you will be able to integrate all of these different demos, all these different functions into my uh, live trading system with the IQ feed data real time. And of course, with the returns that you get and pass it back into the C sharp, you able to calculate, maybe measure or set triggers or entry points into the market for uh, 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 the trading decisions. Hopefully that will help you out and see the benefit of using something like Garch, but there's gonna be more. Be showing off the uh, arena as well. I'll talk to you later.